Um, guys, welcome to Groston House. This is the first map in COD World War II Zombies, Nazi Zombies, that Tim and I are going to be playing. And this is probably the only Zombies experience <laughs> in this entire game that I'm not going to be bitching and moaning about because I actually enjoy this map. This is the one of two maps I've played in this game. I played this and I played the Final Reich. So, I am familiar with this map. I know how to pack a punch and spin the mystery box and all that all that jazz. Which I just learned yeah. today. I had no idea. Are you ready? I am fucking ready. I was going to say, oh, we yeah. should have a contest to see who can bitch more about fucking World War II zombies. <laughs> I have a lot to say about Yeah, because <laughs> this time around, you're not the guide anymore nah. because <laughs> Infinite Warfare is something that you were familiar with, but this is not something that either of us are very familiar nah, with. So. This game was the I am very excited. Biggest, I don't know if you remember when they were advertising for this game, everybody was thinking, oh my god, they're taking it back to Nazi zombies, this is going to be like World of War, COD, Black Ops 1, yep. and then we got this shit with the shovel and un unrebuildable yeah. windows. <laughs> And like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, man, they just did a lot of weird Can't shit. Like, every, like, I don't like that I it's, Ooh, everything really? is in a language that I don't understand. So like, it gives me something, and I have no fucking clue what the fuck I just got. You know, I get like Roston House. Yes. That means something house, small house, gross house. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like go going on Google. Well, you fucking know more German than me, uh, and I'm part German. But Jesus Christ, man, like. Uh, I do remember if you to check this pull out. Your shovel out. What? What am I checking out? <laughs> I was able to spawn in with the car 90 AK. I didn't even know you do that in this oh, game. Yeah. I, I knew you, you, they had like custom loadouts and stuff, but that is pretty dope. Uh, if I do say so myself. Okay, hold on a second. I have no like game sound. I'm trying. Can you? Can we pause this? <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on a second. Uh, see what the fuck is going. Sort of. I can cover you. No, the game volume turned all the way up, but I'm literally like. Uh, No, I can hear you great, but I just can't hear anything in the game. Hmm. Alright, so we should save a zombie and start shooting these lanterns, and see if we can get it open on round one here. Okay. I believe I know where they all are. I think there might be one or two that might slip my memory. Let's see, this is... Number one, you hit the little crow well, audio yeah, cue. Well, I can't hear anything, so, I mean, like, I'm shooting a lantern. Three. We got three. Hold on. Can you still hear me? I think there's. I can hear okay. you. Okay. Uh, I got a zombie fucking me up. I literally, like, I literally cannot hear a fucking thing. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Hey, can you take the zombie for a minute? Like, I'm checking the settings. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I didn't hear anything in the lobby, and that's why I was like, what the fuck? Uh, and like, my control volume is all like fucking. Out. Oh, there we go. Alright, I got it. Alright, All right, perfect. Awesome. The zombie is all sorts of pissed off right now. He's running around like a goddamn chimp. Look at him. Oh! <laughs> okay, so... I thought there was supposed to be like a blue flame after you shot the lanterns. So like... I know some of them are outside the fucking windows too, but... Goddamn, this game uh, is dark. I am mortally wounded. Uh, here, I'm trying to take him, so you, you probably know the lanterns more than me. He won't fucking even look at me. Dude, where you at? <laughs> Turn around, dickhead! Dude, he's, Stop following he me! He's obsessed with you. Alright, I believe there's one or two more. Alright. Let's see, did I get the one? Uh... Oh, there's one. Oh, you already got the that. No one. Like, the got noises that one. they make are very disturbing on this game. <laughs> like, it is one of the most scary yes. zombie noises out of the zombie games. I'll give it that. It, it does sound very uh, anxiety inducing when you. Mm -hmm. They almost sound like mentally challenged zombies, though. It, it's, it's kind of. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like... uh, do you have one still? Can I just put up. Oh, this yeah, is... let's kill this fucking, oh. uh... Oh, no. The one that's hobbling around. 
Alright, now let me- did you get them all? Like, I, I, here, <laughs> let me take them. No, uh, there's one or two more, and I, I know which window to, to shoot out of, but it's, it's like, really dark. There's one of them that's really difficult to get. Uh, there is a brightness setting you can turn up really quick, it makes the game look like shit, ah. but I did discover that. Yeah, I think this is one. Yeah, did it open up by chance? Not yet. Okay, that means there's one more. And I believe it might be out this window over here. Let's, uh, let's see about that. Uh, oh fuck. So, I, I, after we talked the other day, I was on YouTube and just randomly, like, I, I swear the internet reads your mind sometimes, I saw that you actually did set a world record for Tagged or Toten. Oh, oh. I did! Yeah. Do you still hold it? Yeah, four player starting them challenge, classic elixir. Yeah, it's such an obscure record, it's almost not even worth mentioning. <laughs> but it's still a record nonetheless. Yeah, it's not even uh, something I went out, out of my way to do. What the fuck is this? I refuse to look up a tutorial, okay, because I know there's one more and I know it's outside of a window. I'm going to be stubborn about this. Is that one? Did you hear the crows? God damn. Oh. Uh, uh. So yeah, I think my biggest pet peeve of this game is that you can't and I know it's stupid, like, but like why would they not put that you could rebuild windows? I, I just that's in every other zombies game, why would you not add that to this, like yeah. Like, I understand, I, I guess they make up for it by putting unlimited point sharing, Joel sharing or whatever the fuck they call it, like, which is kind of a cool built-in feature, but I mean, there's no way to really make extra money other than using that weird shovel animation that you can't really use past round one, where you get like a couple extra jolts or ammo if you kill them with that, but then you get viciously fucked up while you're in the middle of that animation if you're past round one. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, I mean, again, there's just so many things done wrong, like, I hate the fucking perk system, I fucking hate the wall gun boxes, I fucking hate, just, I, I would be quicker just to tell you what I like about it, uh, <laughs> because, literally, like, in my, right, yeah. like, literally, this is, in my opinion, probably the worst. One up there. The worst zombies ever. I, I almost think I would rather play Advanced Warfare, and, and that one's pretty fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> you got it. You said it. I don't even know where this fucking. Room yeah, is. there's one more. Oh, I'm okay. looking up the locate. I'm looking okay. up the location. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, uh, Dalek. Yeah, he's who I was watching earlier. He was the WW2 master. <laughs> Did we? Oh, don't tell me I fucking missed that one. Nope, that was it. Okay, I did miss that one, but it's still not open, which means there's one more. Christ almighty. Oh, did you get the one on the truck right here? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I just shot it. It's alright. I didn't mean to run the zombie straight to you. Oh, he's following you now. Come back, buddy. Come back, buddy. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Ah, okay. It's out the window like I suspected. Now I just need to see exactly where he shoots. It looks like it's just sitting on a fucking barrel. Which I could have sworn I shot. But that's okay. Did I not shoot that one? I felt like I already shot that one. I guess that was the last the one. Sounds went off. Uh, no? I don't see a door open. There's one more? 
God damn it! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, caution. Dude, this map is really fucking small. Almost, do you think that Noct is actually bigger than this map? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I'm kind of excited though, especially the fact that you can get Packer Punch guns. What's the highest you ever made it on this one? I think 30. Oh god. So. There's actually a good way to indicate which ones have been shot, which ones haven't, and that is a small purple yeah, that's what I was aura saying. inside of the lantern. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a purple flame. That's that's what I remember. Like this one right. That here. was it. That was it. I got the last one. Okay. Yes. It's Die, open. bitch. Yeah, it's open. Oh, cool. All right. Perfect. So now we got the mystery box unlocked. How cool is that's that? That's fucking cool. Fun fact. I've never fucking seen this room before. I never even realized there was like a room here. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's not much, but it's something, right? We get a, we get a crack of the mystery box instead of the fucking three wall guns that are on this map. <laughs> so, yeah, although they, they did put a couple of good wall guns. Yeah, the MP40, I'm actually going to go grab that right now. The SGG44 is pretty good. Mm hmm. So now what we're going to do is, get $10, of course, $10. spin the mystery box yes. until we get the uh, jumping, not jumping, Jack, Jack, in the box. Jack in the box. Good God. And then we do that easter egg to get pack-a-punched weapons out of the mystery box. We have another easter egg to strike for. Alright, now we can carry on with the actual gameplay instead of uh, the little t tiny easter eggs. <laughs> That's alright, hey. Uh, I just hit the mystery box. Let me see if I get... Uh, no. I got the M2 carbine. Is that full auto? Yeah, it is. Cool. My friend actually had... I'm going to try to reserve as much... I'm going to try to reserve as much complaining about this game as I can for the maps that I don't like and are unfamiliar with. I'm going to try to enjoy this as much as I can for now, you know? Well, <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of this. I remember two of the other maps, but one of the maps I don't remember at all. I remember there being one map where you start, like, on a beach with a, like, M60 and you just, like, got to mow down a bunch of... Darkest Shore. Yeah, that, that was the only cool part of that map, like... I, I, I enjoy that. Never played it. it it's, yeah, that first part mm. is enjoyable, but you, you can still die. Like, I've died definitely in the first, like, round of that game before. Um, and then the last map, I feel like yeah. I played pretty extensively. What the fuck are all the zombies? Uh, yeah, so, you know about this perk machine, right? The jolt yes. machine? Yeah, like, random gives you a random All right, perk, yeah. all right. Yeah, it's like a wonder fizz machine. I don't need to explain it. You, you got I it. I got it. Yeah. Very good. This this map is definitely smaller than Noct, and I think the reason why I think the only reason why I like this map above every other map in this game is the simplicity yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't no, confuse me. Right. No, it's something. But again, I, I'm curious how the later rounds will be with two players because like when it's one player, you can train, but <laughs> you're gonna run into each other constantly. Like, there's just, there's yeah. just not enough places. Oh, double jolts. Exactly. Double. Yeah, my friends and I, we did a four-player on Ooh. this map. Four players in this map is fucking chaotic, needless to say. Yeah. And that was really fun, though. I mean, I like that. I, I like knowing that it's not going to last 20 hours. I like knowing that there's a bit of a challenge. God, I haven't played this game in fucking forever. Either. Either, I must have played. I'm the last time I touched World War II multiplayer or zombies. Oh, I got the uh, the jacket. It off. has to have been almost a year. Oh, <gasps> that's sick. All right, you know what to yep. do. Right? Let's see if I can Hell get yeah. the first try. Uh, wait a minute. I I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> How do I use them? The left bumper? <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. There we go. Look at perfect. that. Perfect. That was perfect placement. Perfect placement. Now we save up 10k. I can do that. Well, I need ammo first. God damn. So then, that card disappears. Yeah. And now we save up 10k, give it to the piano, and we Gucci! Oh, shit. Yeah, so, we can't talk about World War II zombies without talking about the armor system. Because, of course, oh there's no juggernaut in this yeah. game. It is the armor system. <laughs> which has its pros and cons, not gonna lie. Uh, it, it is a decent idea. It's something that they tried, 
A lot of people did not like it. A lot of people did. It, it has its benefits. For example, uh, it takes away that crutch perk, so you don't have to constantly buy Jug. It's its own separate entity. So you can have other perks, which is something Black Ops 4 tried to do and failed miserably at. Uh, but at the same time, the armor system is kind of shitty because you always have to renew it. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, that, that was super confusing when the game came out. Like, just had no fucking clue what was going on. Yeah. Oh, God. Now, can you randomly feed the piano, or do you have to do it all at once? All at once, I believe. I could be wrong. Okay. Insta kill. Shovel. Bitch, get shoveled. Fuck out bitch. Of you. Oh, shit. Alright, so I got. I don't even know if I've got good guns, like, or what's going on. Oh, max ammo, great. So I'm gonna. I got. Like three guns, so I'm gonna stop buying guns and save up so we can get pack guns. Uh, Let's make a round prediction. I'm guessing round 26. 26? You, Just a random guess. Fucking, you got faith tonight, brother. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never played before having the box or pack a bunch of guns, so it was hard for me to. We're definitely going to fend a lot better than, yeah, obviously, obviously we're going to do a lot better had we not done that, so, I give us a pretty fair shot. We could, we could potentially get to the 30s, I've done it, it's not impossible. Well, what's, just depends on space. What's the fucking here. world record on this shit, man? If we set a world record tonight, I would be, I'm sure it's probably like 150, somebody like... Sometimes <laughs> you look at the world Some record, fucking yeah, nerd. you're like, how the fuck... One thing I don't like about this game is the new round will start and the motherfuckers yeah, will spawn yeah, in immediately. Uh, not even a second after that. Yeah. They just kind of hop right in and get straight to the action. Which I guess is like good in one respect, but for the most part, like, chill, you know? I also... If we're talking good things about this game, because believe me, there are a lot of shitty things, I will say the zombie pathing isn't nearly as terrible as Black Ops 4, for example. The zombies give you a fair second to maneuver around them, and they don't have predictability, or at least not nearly as predictable as BO4 zombies, where they just kind of guess where you're going and then meet you there. <laughs> They give you a fair shot. I fucking hate that about Black Ops 4. Yeah, they are. And even Black Ops 3 to some extent. They're a little too smart, yeah. Uh, I agree. Especially when you're trying to kite. Like, it's not that bad when you're training, but kiting can be really annoying with how the zombies seem to always know. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what I've done is I've placed the 10k into the piano, and now every box oh. spin from now on will give us a pack-a-punched weapon. Dude, that was very... There's how did double you get 10 this grand already? Map. Oh, because you didn't hit the box as many times as Just... I did. Okay. Yeah, no, it's understandable. <laughs> oh, I got a fucking sniper. Uh. Oh, alright. Yeah, I forgot about that camouflage ability. That was very helpful. I threw a, uh... I have stickies! I threw a thing for you. <gasps> I'm gonna get rid of this fucking sniper Sick. right now. Jesus. Shock me, Dad. Oh, what did I get? Oh, I got the fisty cuffs thing. What what one is that again? Is that the uh the shovel perk? I don't know if you even fucking know what this one is. I think it is, yeah, because it's round ten and I'm one hitting them. Okay. This is very satisfying. I don't want to get fucked. Leave me alone. Oh, it's one of these things! 
have any fond or standout moments in this game? Even multiplayer or the campaign? or nope. What did you think about World War II in general? No, the whole no, game. None of it? I, like I said, I mean, I, I battle back and forth in my head if this or Advanced Warfare was worse. There was one map on Advance that I played uh, pretty, pretty, I mean, not like, you know, the Black Ops games or Treyarch games, but uh, this one, mm -hmm. I just remember being so fucking disappointed, like, I don't think I was as yeah. disappointed in advance, like, I just didn't expect that much out of advance, but this one, they promised us, like, you know, a fucking pile of gold and, and return to the, to the old yeah, days. Like, This is already getting kind of fucking crazy, yeah, not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah. A, oh, fucking, what the fuck just hit me? Oh, it's a big dude. <laughs> I guess they don't give you, a, like, a dog round on this map. I know it's just, like, flaming no. things. Yeah, they're not in this map, okay. but they will be in the final rank, so... Okay. Enjoy our time without them, because they are fucking annoying. There we go. So I'm buying perks, I don't even know what they do. Like, I got one that looks like a green needle, and one that's like a red hand. I guess that's speed, maybe? Like, sleight of hand? Uh, red hand. Probably. I have three guns, which is weird. Does that mean I have, like, uh, Yeah, there's something? a permanent... Like, one of your abilities you can use for three guns. Oh shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah. This box is so slow. I like the customization in Zombies, but I think the only game that did it right was Black Ops 3, because it was pretty straightforward. It was, here's your weapons kits, put attachments on in this game. Yeah. And in, See, I think BO4 honestly, is I think way every better other. than BO3 with that. Like, I find that to be so user-friendly. Oh! oh god. Oh, fuck. Listen, bitch boy. Oh, Listen, bitch boy. Oh, I killed bitch boy. I killed bitch boy. Am I about to die right now? I died. Oh no. I got fucking glued to the wall. That was awesome. Well, thank you. What the fuck is this machine? Oh shit, where'd he come from? Wow, we get fucking zero time. I think this is... Oh god, what is that? Is that double tap? Or is that speed cola? Well, we can find out very easily. Oh, that's Electric Cherry! Yeah, but it's really sucks. I don't know what it's called in this game, but... It's called It Fucking Sucks. Yeah, it's not good. Oh god, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. Nuke! Thank god. Man, I need a fucking gun. I just, every time I go in there, zombies start... I wish they'd give us a max so I can get a... Oh! Oh, Max. I can only throw one of these fucking things and grab my shit. Oh, is that a... What is that? I don't even know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Woo! God. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. God damn. Okay. Too. Round 26 is looking a little bit tough at the moment. We got, okay, what the hell is this? The Ronnie? I'll, I'll take it. Oh, great! It has the slowest fire rate in Call of Duty history. Well, did you get... Oh, you didn't get double tap, that's right. Oh. Oh, 
I still have a yet to invest in armor. I think I'm going to go do that right now. I think it's pretty cheap at first, and I think, like the shield, be a four. It does. Yeah, it does. In price. Fuck off. What I don't understand is, I still have armor, yet I'm almost getting red screened. I'm like, how does the armor work? Oh, I can try to explain it in a second. Oh, I think that is double tap. If that's not double tap, I don't know what the fuck is. So, the way the armor system works in this game, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, comment section, I know you will, <laughs> is mm. there are three shield icons yes. right next to your character. Right. Now, when your meter surrounding your character, the, the yellow line, when that depletes entirely, you lose one of those said shields. And when you lose three of those, you need more armor. Oh, okay. So you don't die, you just lose a badge instead. Yeah. Okay. I'm... You lose three of them, though, you will Well, die. I had two of them, yet I really felt like I was about to die, like my screen was red. So that's why I was like, they, they, maybe it only works like on certain parts of your body, I don't, I don't know. I was getting really creative. God damn! This game is fucking difficult, not even gonna lie, holy shit. Okay, what the fuck is that? Shield Blitz? I don't, oh, that's the fucking electric chair shit. I almost wonder if we both just like stand up here and camp. One, you get one way and I get the other. Like... It's not a bad idea. I mean, Either that or we each get a floor. We both stay on the same floor, we're bound to get fucked. Well, I mean, obviously you would me to do that in the later run. This, the speed of this box is gonna get us killed, like... Not to mention, the rounds have no intermission. I feel like I'm constantly fighting. <laughs> oh, whatever this is, I like. Bone saw custom. Another max? Oh, I stuck him. I stuck that big boy. Oh my god. fucking amazing. You gotta get you one of these. Yeah, I gotta get an LMG. That's yeah, that, the key to this map as well. I, Getting a nice LMG. Yeah, that's what I got. Uh, let me throw another one of these <laughs> in the box. The fuck is this? Can we get a second game to, like, collect ourselves? Jesus Christ. Alright, what was that? That looks like a speed cola, potentially? <gasps> yes! I have never been happier to see a nuke in this! My goodness! The, what, are these, what are these big the guys that keep coming? Oh no. There's like, ton, there's like two of them up here. Now, can you keep hitting that perk thing to like, change your perks? Although, I don't even know... Yeah, they cycle out. I don't even know that. So, if you wanted to get rid of your first perk, you could spin it again and it'll recycle out and you'll get it replaced. So it just constantly... So you can constantly keep changing them out. No, but if you don't know what the fuck you have... Oh, Miz! Yeah, it's a little bit tough to tell. I'm not very familiar with the perks in this game. That's stamina, for sure. 
Ooh, Bridesmaid. I wish I knew what this gun was. <gasps> it sounds so cool! I do like a lot of guns in this game. A lot of them are really friggin' dope. And all real guns, might I add. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This fucking guy. Dude, I fucking love this gun. Too bad it doesn't have a ton of ammo. What is it? It is the Bridesmaid. That's the pack a bunch name of it. I don't know what the original gun is, but I like it. Alright, shock. I might have it. <sighs> Stamina it up. Is that the red one that's got the guy running? Know, helpful. Yeah, that one's pretty clear. The rest of them are not. So now I definitely want to get at least one. So more. I've got stamina in the very first spot. So is there any way for me to keep that one and replace something else? No, uh, they just okay. cycle out. Okay. So it, it's good and bad. You know, you can constantly change them, but you might have to get rid of some ones you want in order to get rid of ones you don't. I just don't know if stamina up is going to be that useful on this map. No, <laughs> not really. But not a lot of them are. You know. I would suggest uh, having, of course, double tap, speed cola. I think stamina up might be a decent idea. Did I just really fucking die? I need to get armor. That's what I need to be doing. Uh, what the fuck is this? No. I got a flintlock. Oh, it's like an explosive okay. thing. Oh! Ah, oh, this is so fucking... I don't remember this being this difficult. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I got fucking trapped. I got trapped. This can't be the uh, end. Is this the end? For uh, real? No, I've got to self-revive. What the fuck? I don't know how self revives ever work in any game ever. It's really unclear to me. Uh, are you downstairs? Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh god, what are, what are you doing, Tim? Tim, what are you doing? Tim, what are you doing? Which Tim? Me, this Tim. <laughs> oh, as I was Damn. throwing the jack in the box. You gotta be fucking kidding me. My prediction was 26. You know what? I don't remember it being that difficult, not gonna lie. Maybe I underestimated it a little bit. This is not an easy map. I should have gotten armor. I don't know why I waited so long to get armor. It's probably a little more important than I anticipated. Yeah, but I feel like <laughs> you got fucking uh, pack open really quick, man. Like, and even with that, like, I can't remember playing this map and I never even knew you could get pack guns. Like, I probably was getting to like round 10 and just like, fuck this map. <sighs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's good and bad. It's good because it rewards people who are into Easter eggs. They can get some pack-a-punched weapons. But the people, the average people that hop on this map and play, they don't understand, they don't understand that. They don't know. And they fucking die, and they, they feel pissed off at the game, and they resent it even more because they don't know how much of a disadvantage they're at just by playing the game normally. Seriously. Alright, well, that was Groston House. That was the one map in this game that I actually enjoy. Uh, but, you know, I hope you, uh... I don't even know how to <laughs> We'd be, uh... The next map on the agenda is the Final Reich. Final Reich. And that'll probably be the final time you play the Final Reich. I like the shit up.